everything around us are made of atoms and atoms contain electrons and protons in it. Electrons are negatively charged particles and protons are positively charged particles. If an atom has more number of electrons compared to protons, it becomes negatively charged and if an atom has less number of electrons compared to protons, it becomes positively charged. When we mix salt in the water, salt breaks into its constituent elements, sodium and chlorine. Sodium ion is positively charged because it has less electrons compared to protons whereas chlorine ion is negatively charged because it has more electrons compared to protons. To examine the electric current in the salt solution, we attach a conducting wire to positive end of a battery, and an other conducting wire to negative terminal of battery and dip these wires into the chemical solution. Due to conduction, wire connected to negative terminal of battery becomes negatively charged and wire connected to positive terminal becomes positively charged. We all know that unlike charges attract each other so negatively charged chlorine particles get attracted towards the wire connected to positive terminal of battery and positively charged sodium particles get attracted towards the wire connected to negative terminal of battery. Due to attraction force, movement of charges takes place inside the salt solution. We have already discussed that movement of charge is also known as electric current or electricity and thus chemical solution conducts electricity.